He says, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he has no trouble to it. He says, that's why you've got to wait quietly and you've got to wait in great expectation. Let me give you one more time. How should I wait? How can I demonstrate, oh, patience in the Lord? Amen. The third is this, I should wait confidently. Wait in expectation, wait quietly, wait confidently. And the Bible tells us that Job never less lost his confidence in all these things. Even when his outlook was bad, he looked up. And look at what James tells us. He gives us some insights about Papa Job. James 5, 11, it says, You have heard of Job's patience, and you know how the Lord provided for him in the end. For the Lord is full of mercy and compassion. It says the, the guy was hurting, but he was patient. Another word for patience means confidence. He said, I know my Redeemer lives, and I'll see him face to face. He said, naked I came, naked I shall depart. To God be the glory. <laughs> he says, even though God is killing me, even though he's allowing these things to happen to me, my children have been murdered. My business is all gone, even though God has allowed, he is killing me, but I, yet I will still trust him. You will confidently. You will confidently. <laughs> Look at what the prophet Micah, who prophesied at a difficult time in the life of God's people, tells us. Oh, this message is for somebody. Maybe, oh, the news that is happening in our environment, the stock market and the finances and the job and everything that's going on with COVID still coming around. Maybe you, you just came out of COVID or you know somebody who's got COVID or oh, your loved one is going through difficult times and job, finances, marriage, relationships are not going so well either for you or for your loved ones, but understand this. Wait on the Lord. And Micah prophesying, uh, the word of God tells us, in Micah 7, 7, it says, as for me, I look to the Lord for help. I I wait confidently for God to save me, and my God will certainly hear me. That's how you wait in confidence. My back is hurting. My finances are not where it is. I'm not married. Things are not going well on the job side. But as for me, I'm looking to the Lord. As for me, I'm looking to Him for help. As for me, I'm waiting confidently for the Lord for my salvation, my deliverance. And this is what I know. My God, my God, my God. Glory, 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 glory. Will suddenly come through. He won't fail me. He won't let me down. He will not turn. Glory to God. His back on me. For he's an on time God. He's the same yesterday, today, forever. His promises are yea, amen. Glory to Almighty God. Glory to Almighty God. When should we have extra dose of patience? We ought to have extra dose of patience. When situations are uncontrollable, when people are unchanging, and when problems are something we can explain, why should we be patient? God is in control. He will reward my patience. And he's working things out for my good. How do I demonstrate patience? I demonstrate patience by waiting in expectation. Waiting confidently and waiting quietly. Quietly. Let the enemy wonder, how is it going? How is it going? Let him send the demons to come and spy. And what, listen, whether you are whining or, or, or playing, but you are out there whistling. <laughs> Let your family members who know that things are not right in your life. <laughs> Let them see you smiling. Get out of your house and take a walk. Glory to God. Oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine, oh, mine. Oh, let me close on this note. Look at some. I, I mean, has, has the Lord blessed you today? He says, in all this, in all this, this is the last word. Psalm 37, verse 7. Be still in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> and do what? Wait patiently for him to do what? To act. God is a God of action. He's a God of action. <laughs> He's, oh my Lord. You wait, 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 wait. God will show you something. He says, I will show the world the difference between those who love me and those who do not. He will lift you up from ashes to beauty, from pain to blessing, from difficulty to breakthrough, from sorrow to laughter, Wait for him to act. Somebody rise where you are and give God the praise. Father, I thank you. I thank you for my blessing, Lord. I thank you for your word to them. I thank you that you never fail. I thank you that you will come through for me. Somebody thank God. Thank God. Don't
Don't confess your pain. Don't even tell God what you go through right now. Thank him for his blessing. Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your breakthrough. Thank him for new doors. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Father, I thank you that you are working. I thank you that something good is coming out of this. I thank you that, oh my Lord, a new day is dawning right now. Glory to Almighty God. Oh, your word that is like fire. That never returns empty right now. Let it breath fresh in the life of your people. Ignite patience, endurance. The attitude of waiting on you, hoping with expectation. Waiting in confidence. Ignite the attitude in the hearts of your people, Lord God Almighty. Waiting quietly, Lord God Almighty. Oh, for you to act, Jesus. You say you do it slowly, steadily, surely. Birth afresh, something new in your life, Lord God. Pipe them, God, my Lord, into a heavenly breakthrough. Something new, something unbelievable, something exciting, something amazing. Let it happen for your people, Lord God. As they are visited with you, at, oh, Lord God Almighty, shake loose, shake loose. Every doubt, every fear, every sadness, every worry, shake loose every discouragement, every disappointment in your hearts, in your minds. Be a lift of head. Let hope arise in hearts and minds right now in the name of Jesus, oh, our God. Give your people, Lord God, the stamina to wait on you to act. And for again in motion in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God Almighty. You say whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose, oh, in the name of Jesus, we bind every hardship going on in the life of anybody. We bind every difficulty, bind every evil work, bind, Lord God Almighty, everything that is not of you in the life of your people gathered here right now. Anyone listening to me, oh God, my Lord, everything that is not of God, we bind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we release the blessing of God. We release the breakthrough of God. We release the mighty power of God to go to walk in your people, Lord God. Oh, take them to greater heights, Lord God. Bless your people, mighty God. And fill their heart with patient endurance. That no matter what, no matter what, your people don't give up, don't give in. <laughs> don't retreat to your people, Lord God Almighty. Give them the spirit of boldness, the spirit of courage, the spirit of endurance, Lord God Almighty. Give them stamina to run and not be weary. Cause them to soar, run, run faster than your legs. Okay? In this season of their life, Lord God Almighty, enable them, equip them, ready them, God, my Lord, Jesus, to hitch, hitch on chariots of the Holy Spirit and oh, take them places they've never been. In the name of Jesus, call them, oh God, my Lord, before influential people. In Jesus' name, oh God, my Lord. We bless your people, mighty God. Pray with me. God, thank you for your word. Today, I look to you for help. I'm counting on you for my deliverance. Thank you that even when nothing is happening, I know that you are working all things for my good. So I receive the very best from you lord bless me lord my, my my health bless my finances bless my family bless my emotions bless my job bless my family bless my generation now until i see you face to face bless me really good in jesus name amen if you've not received Christ as your Savior, what a great opportunity right now, right now, as you've heard the promises of God, the blessing of God, the power of God manifested in his word for you to come to him. He says he loved us so much that he gave Jesus that whosoever believes in him will have eternal life. Eternal life is the very life of God down in your soul. Open your heart to Jesus right now. Pray this very simple prayer. I prayed this prayer over 40 years ago and many prayed this prayer. And here at Favorite Life Church, every time we gather, oh, we take that opportunity to recommit our life to Christ. And so why don't you do that, wherever you are, maybe for the first time or a recommitment to Christ, that he is your Lord and Savior. Pray this prayer. Jesus, I confess that you are the Savior of my life. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Today, I give you my life. Take it. Use it for your glory and for my good. Oh, Lord. Help me, love you more, to trust you more, and to obey you in all my ways, so that you be glorified in me. From now until my time here is over, use me to accomplish your purpose. And on the day 
that I close my eyes to this world. Jesus, I want to be with you in heaven. So take me in heaven where you are so I'll be with you forever. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen.